Hey everyone, Timber Master here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over what I eat in a day while following the PE diet. More specifically, we'll be diving into when I'm eating, what meals I'm prepping, how I prep those meals, and then I'm also gonna be letting you know the reasoning behind my food choices and my meals. And then lastly, I'm gonna give you three takeaways on the PE diet and nutrition as a whole. Okay, first and foremost, if you're not too familiar with the PE diet, check out this video right here where I fully break it down. It's just gonna be really helpful to watch that prior to watching this video. But when it comes to the PE diet, our recommendation is to consume our ideal body weight in grams of protein while also consuming our ideal body weight in grams of energy, so carbohydrates and fat. Now, I always try and follow this as closely as possible while also trying to be as time efficient as possible because nobody wants to spend that much time in the kitchen. Another thing is, is that I'm not gonna be 100% perfect every single time, but if I'm seeing good results and my body feels good and I like how I feel, then that's great. It's totally fine, perfectly acceptable. So to give you some context, I weigh about 185 to 190 pounds. So that's gonna be my target in grams when it comes to my protein consumption and my energy consumption. And because I always try to prioritize fat as fuel, I'm gonna try and limit and reduce my carbohydrate consumption to less than 50 grams for the day. Okay, so when am I gonna be eating? Well, I've been intermittent fasting for years now. So typically my first meal of the day is gonna be between 12 noon and 3 p.m. and then my second meal of the day is usually around five o'clock or even as late as 7 p.m. but it's about one o'clock right now I'm getting a little hungry so why don't we start to go prep some food now for my first meal of the day I'm gonna be eating four pasture raised eggs cooked in grass-fed butter I'm also gonna have two grass-fed beef patties and about five ounces of salad with a little bit of olive oil and apple cider vinegar dressing. I'm gonna have a couple ounces of beef liverwurst and I actually got all of this from Costco except for the beef liverwurst, which I got from US Wellness Meats. All right, let's start frying up some eggs. Now with cooking, I prefer grass-fed butter because it typically contains more fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K. Now I'm gonna cook the eggs on medium to low heat to preserve the yolk and make sure that it's fairly runny. And cooking the yolk this way just really helps retain more of the nutrients and keeps the fat from oxidizing as well. And this is exactly why I don't really eat a lot of scrambled eggs or omelets. So the eggs are done now, so I'm gonna plate these and throw the beef patties in the pan that I just used for my eggs. And now I'm gonna set my timer for about three minutes. And while these cook, I'm gonna go have my eggs. All right, time is up. Let's flip these burgers and we are gonna throw another three minutes on the clock. Okay, these burgers are looking done. Let's plate them and see how they taste. Now I'm gonna have these beef patties with a little bit of organic mustard because eating them without any condiment is probably gonna be a little bit bland. Also mustard has zero sugar, which is fantastic. And now that I'm done with the beef patties, I'm gonna go make my salad, which is just gonna be mixed greens. And what I'm gonna do with my salad is just eyeball this and put the salad in a pretty large bowl and try and fill it up past the top. And for the salad dressing, I'm just gonna have about two tablespoons of olive oil, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and some salt and pepper to taste. Nothing too fancy here, just trying to keep this salad dressing nice, simple, and quick. Okay, let's keep eating. And lastly, I'm just gonna finish off my meal with about two ounces of beef liverwurst. So I know that this just does not look appetizing at all, but, Organ meat is so nutritious, it's so good for us. And 
to be honest, I don't eat it because of the flavor and how good it tastes. It, it doesn't taste incredible, but it's also actually not that bad, but I eat it because of how dense it is from a nutritional perspective. And it's so healthy, it's so good for us. And it's something that we as humans should probably be eating a little bit more of. I would say that is some pretty gross B-roll though. Okay, so that was meal number one. And to be honest, this was probably the fifth or sixth time that I've ever properly analyzed my food. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why at the end of this video, but when it comes to protein, I had 100 grams. When it comes to fat, I had 118 grams. Carbs, I only had 10 grams. Fiber was just five grams. And that came out to be a total PE ratio of 0.81. Now before we jump into meal number two, please go ahead and comment. Let me know what you thought of my first meal and if you thought it was even enough food for me as well. Also, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're liking and enjoying what you're seeing right now. That would be greatly appreciated. Now for dinner, meal number two, I'm gonna have about 10 ounces of grass-fed steak, about a half a pound of broccoli cooked with a little bit of grass-fed butter. And then lastly, I'm gonna have a couple more ounces of that delicious beef liverwurst. All right, it's five o'clock now, time to start cooking dinner. This meal is gonna be a little bit more tasty than meal number one. All right, let's start seasoning this delicious looking piece of meat with a little salt, a little pepper, and we're gonna let it sit for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now, while the steak is sitting, I'm gonna go prep the broccoli. And what we'll do is we'll melt a couple of tablespoons of butter and drizzle it all over the broccoli. Once we do that, we're gonna crack some salt on there and then we're gonna put a little bit of garlic powder on there as well. Now we can turn on the grill to about 350 degrees. I usually cook my broccoli in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes, but today we are gonna be using the grill cause we're cooking steak. Okay, now that the grill is all fired up and we're sitting right at about 350 degrees, let's throw the broccoli on there for about 20 minutes. So we got about seven minutes left for the broccoli. So I'm gonna throw the steak on now just so we can time everything perfectly. Now we're gonna cook this piece of steak for about three minutes on each side, so let's go ahead and set our timer. Time's up, let's flip it. All right, let's get another three minutes and then we are almost done. Time is up, let's get everything off the grill, let's plate it, and let's start eating. And last but not least, we cannot forget about that oh so healthy and delicious beef liverwurst. Now let's take a look at some of the details with my dinner. So I had about 73 grams of protein, 55 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbohydrates, eight grams of fiber coming out to a total PE ratio of 1.11, not bad. And now for my daily total. So I had about 173 grams of protein, 173 grams of fat, about 26 grams of carbohydrates and 13 grams of fiber coming to a grand total PE ratio of 0.92 and I am not mad about this at all. So here's the thing, I didn't get to my 185 to 190 grams of protein for the day and I also didn't get that perfect one to one ratio, but I do feel really good about this because I have been very full and satiated throughout the entire day and my energy has just been really stable and great as well. Now let's talk about three really important things when it comes to the PE diet and nutrition as a whole. First, before I was doing the PE diet, I was adhering to more of a low carb, borderline keto type diet. And the problem with this 
was that every time I ate a meal, it just seemed like I was always a little bit hungry. I was never fully satiated. And because of this, I always kind of went back to eating a little bit more fat and then sometimes even a little bit of carbohydrates as well. And for me with the PE diet, my number one goal was to just increase my protein consumption. And increasing my protein consumption did three really great things for me. First, it really filled me up. And because of this, I just wasn't thinking about food as much. And I also wasn't eating as much energy as a result. Second, my energy just became way more sustained. One of the great things that I liked about going low carb and keto was that it really improved my energy energy and the PE diet actually made my energy even better. And lastly, I lost about five pounds without really even trying and I got quite a bit leaner, especially around my waist and my midsection, but there could be another reason as to why I've seen this five pound weight loss and I'm going to talk about that in number three. Now number two, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I didn't accurately measure or weigh anything. And why is that? Well, I really only care about if my food is healthy, if it makes me really full and satiated, and if it's not too time consuming. And then lastly, if it gives me energy or if it actually creates fatigue and causes me to have brain fog, and then I really wanna to try to avoid those types of food. And I already live a stressful life and doing something like meticulously counting calories and counting grams on a daily basis is only going to lead to more stress. It's gonna take more time. And it's just something that I wouldn't personally want to develop and turn into a habit. And I actually wouldn't recommend this to most people as well. But if you have no idea about your nutrition and what you're currently eating or what your macros are looking like, it's okay to try it for a couple of days, figure out your baseline and get a good idea of how you can make the appropriate changes moving forward. But I just wouldn't recommend doing it long term. So the easiest thing to do, well, just increase your protein, reduce your carbohydrates and fill the rest in with fat and that's it. And lastly, number three, I pretty much just ate all whole foods. The most processed food that I had was the organic grass-fed beef liverwurst, which contains a variety of different organ meats and a couple of different spices. But it's probably one of the most healthy processed foods that someone can have. Now eating a whole foods diet is gonna be really, really important because it's gonna prevent us from eating the three types of food that we absolutely need to avoid if we wanna lose weight, which are high amounts of sugar, refined carbohydrates, and refined oils or vegetable oils. And since I started the PE diet, I simultaneously made the decision to really try and reduce and almost eliminate my consumption of vegetable oils. And I really think it's this combination of both the PE diet and vegetable oil reduction that drove my little bit of weight loss without actually having to put a lot of effort in. But if you can do the PE diet without overcomplicating things, this is one of the absolute best nutrition plans and strategies. I highly, highly recommend it. Now, if you like this video and you wanna learn more about effective weight loss strategies while also improving your health, click that subscribe button and check out this video right here if you're interested in learning about 10 tips that can help you lose weight right now. All right, thanks so much for checking out this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next.